okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question a block rests on a frictionless horizontal surface and air rifle pellet is fired horizontally into the block and remains embedded in the block what happens to the total kinetic energy and to the total momentum of the block and pellet system as a result of collision okay fine so first of all whenever collisions take place there are three types of collisions that we study in our syllabus what are they the first one is elastic collisions now what are elastic collisions elastic collisions are collisions which take place like this and the bodies they uh, collide with each other and they then they rebound okay and there is no loss of energy in the collision that is why they are known as elastic collision so the energy is not lost in the elastic collision number 2 in elastic collision now as the name suggests in elastic collision means that all those collisions in which the bodies collide and they lose some of their energy so that is known as in elastic collision so this is also done this is second type of collision now what are the third type of collision third type of collision is perfectly in elastic so perfectly inelastic is a special kind of inelastic collision in which after the collision both of the bodies stick together and then they start moving together after the collision so this question the question that's the case that they have given it perfectly fits into the picture of perfectly inelastic collisions because our bullet is now embedded into the block and now they are moving together after the collision so one thing is very sure that kinetic energy is lost here because that is what is the condition it has to change because if it, if it does not change it has to be elastic collision and we know that this is not elastic so definitely the total kinetic energy is decreasing and in all kind of collisions whether elastic inelastic or perfectly inelastic whether they are sticking together not sticking together and whatever the hell is happening inside the collision momentum is always conserved for the system momentum is always conserved it means the for the total momentum of the system there will be no change so our answer will be perfectly c there is no doubt about it so even now you have any doubt about this thing please do let me know in the comment section i will post another video this is professor varun for you please do subscribe to my youtube channel all the best